Alright guys, during Djokovic's second round match at the Australian Open 2024 against Alexei Popperin, there was a fan that was heckling Djokovic and Djokovic just couldn't take it anymore and told the fan to come down and say it to his face. But anyways, this is what he had to say after the match. Well, I mean, <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of things that were being told to me say, on the court, particularly from from that corner and, and the same side, the other corner. Um, I was tolerating it from most of the match, but I, you know, and at one point I had enough and I asked him whether he wants to come down and tell it to my face, you know? And uh, when you confront somebody, you know, uh, unfortunately for him, he didn't have the courage to come down, you know? So um, that's what I was asking him, you know, if you have courage, if you're such a, you know, tough man, tough guy, come down and tell it to my face and let's have a discussion about it, you know. So he, you know, he was apologizing from far away and that's that's all it is. Well, it does. I mean, look, I mean, I'm not going to sit and say, no, it's it's all good. It's not good. I mean, of course, it upsets me. I'm frustrated and, and you know, I don't want to be experiencing that, but I have to uh, accept it as it is. And sometimes I don't tolerate uh, when somebody crosses the line, you know. And that's it. That's what happened. Um, you know, people have a few, few drinks, I guess, late at night as well. That's, that probably is, uh, also has an effect on how they feel and behave. Um, and that's okay. You know, people pay tickets to come and watch us. They want to see the show. They want to have fun. They're all allowed to do that. There, there's no issue. I mean, in terms of whether I, I didn't, I never asked anyone to, to leave the stadium. I never asked the chair umpire to take somebody out. I, I, I wouldn't do that because, you know, he paid his ticket and he he has the right to be there and say what he wants to say and behave how he wants to behave. But if somebody crosses the line, then I'm going to take it to him and as I did to this guy and just yeah, ask him if he wants to come closer and tell me what he wants to tell me. You know, offend me, insult me, you know, as he did. So that that's that's all it is, you know. He he was not really keen on coming down. That's that's what it was.